Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Grayskill Gorilla Live Show. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, hope your your uh, summer uh, or winter. Hey, we're not all Northern Hemisphere here. Uh, has been wonderful. Hope you had a good break. Hope you got some uh, some sun or snow. And I hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying healthy. Hello out there. Um, right away, people know the drill. Let me know where you're from. We love seeing. Uh, we love seeing. <laughs> Eric says he hasn't watched since 2011. Welcome back, Eric. So glad to see you here. Uh, Sarah, what's up? Eric, Sam, Tiffany, Rachel, thank you for joining us. Um, Rachel's uh, keeping track of all the links and helping out here today. Hello from France, Switzerland, Orlando's here, Russia, Mexico. Holy crap. Uh, if you are new here, um, welcome to the live show. Uh, we try to do these once every other week or so and answer your questions about Grayscale Gorilla, Grayscale Gorilla Plus, what's coming soon. And also we talk a little bit about, um, you know, the behind the scenes of how to create great looking 3D uh, lighting, cameras, uh, materials, um, mise-en-scene, you know, the, the stuff that helps you make great renders. We do that here. We uh, mostly answer your questions, hang out and talk 3D and... Um, uh, we got even a couple other surprises here today, including a giveaway and a sneak peek uh, for what's coming up for Grayscale Gorilla Plus members. Mexico City's here. France, Russia, Chicago. What's up? Miss Chicago. Try to get out there in the next month or so. <laughs> I used to watch in 2008. The YouTube algorithm is picking up some, some, uh, some classic members here. Uh, I appreciate you coming by. Flavio, good to see you. Brazil, London, St. Louis, Indiana, Jamaica, Chicago again. Love it. Nigeria is here. That's amazing. Thank you so much for coming by. Andy, what's up, man? Good to see you. Andy's here from, oh gosh, I want to say London. That's my guess, Andy. I'm thinking. Uh, we got Cuba, Vancouver. Good to see you. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you for uh, for helping me out. And if you know anybody, um, that is uh, into 3D, into doing this stuff for a living, please let them know we're live today. And uh, do us a favor too. I just looking at the numbers, I think we are dangerously close to 180,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Uh, so if you're watching on YouTube, consider subscribing. We do these live shows and we also have a ton of new stuff coming out over the next month. So if you do 3D for a living, please consider subscribing. It'd help us out and get us over that. I mean, it's just a round number. It's just 180, but it feels good, right? Jorge or George? Uh, yes, I, I'm going to try to get there. I'm going to try to get there. Hope to see you. Uh, Germany's here. London. Andy nailed it. Nailed it. Um, also, if you're, uh, is this your first time here? Um, first of all, if it's your first time here, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I love seeing that. Um, and for those of you who've been to these other shows, I appreciate coming back. Uh, we're going to get into some Q&A here. Uh, this is a new format. So it, this latest season of the live show, we're going to be trying a couple new things. This is what we're calling office hours where uh, it's just me. I'm answering your questions. We're hanging out. We're talking a uh, little bit of business, a little bit of 3D, a little bit of, of uh, Grayscale Gorilla Plus, a little bit of what you guys are up to. And uh, I'm here to help try to answer some questions. And... Um, we even have some other formats coming up soon. We have uh, some special guests coming down the road, so stay tuned for that. And uh, uh, don't worry, Chad. We'll be back uh, with, with uh, some tag team shows. We need a cool name for those, but we'll be back. Um, first time ever. Awesome. Houston's here. Xavier, thank you. Uh, that's amazing. Ebal Noel. That's a cool name. It's a cool name right there. And on Twitch, uh, hey, I see you guys on Twitch and Facebook. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Uh, I appreciate you uh, uh, saying hi. Let's get into it. Uh, what I was going to say was if this is your first time here and you want to ask a question, put a cue in front of it. It helps me find it in the chat, and it helps me uh, click on it and bring it up to, um, to, the, uh, to the scene here. So uh, I'm actually going to show chat right here. Uh, and, uh, what's up? Hey, Lassie, what's up? Good to see you, man. Uh, Michael, 
Sweet. Sweet. Copenhagen. Dude, that's so amazing. All right. Uh, so I got the chat up. If you guys have any questions um, uh, about Grayscale Gorilla, Grayscale Gorilla Plus, anything else coming down the road, uh, please let me know. Uh, and also, you know, we talk a lot about the 3D career here. You know, we, we focus on people who do 3D for a living. Talk a, lot, a little bit about freelancing and how to stay productive, how to stay creative, how to work faster, how to, how to make more beautiful renders. All the stuff that surrounds this uh, incredible um, uh, career that I hope you're a part of. So uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. And then uh, also a little bit later today, we're going to be hopping into Cinema 4D and I'll give you a sneak peek of what's coming uh, really soon for Grayscale Gorilla Plus members. It's our biggest launch ever. I want to say it's our biggest launch ever. This thing's going to be huge. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of uh, an update to one of our biggest plugins and uh, uh, maybe tease a couple more things. Maybe not. Maybe not. Probably not. All right. Uh, good vibes. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you guys so much. Uh, all right. What do we got here? Uh, let's, uh, let's hop on right here. Boom. Uh, what do I do? Oh, I have to click it on this side. It's been a while, guys. Uh, hold on one sec. I got to go over here and click on stuff. Boom. Look at that. Uh, pixel, pixel, pixelasm. I'm going to go with that. What have you been up to the last few weeks? We, uh, me and the team have been really busy um, working on the next uh, release of Grayscale Gorilla Plus. So, um, we have a huge new release coming any minute now. Uh, be sure to be checking your emails over the next couple weeks. Um, we're really excited to get this out to you. This is a huge release. And we took a little bit of a break over the summer, so we actually have an even bigger release than normal coming uh, very, very soon. And um, so that's what we've been working on, behind the scenes, getting it all ready. Uh, development team, the design team, the material team, the uh, plugin team. Everything has just been slamming lately, and we've been working really hard to get the next version out. We're really excited to show it to you guys. And again, um, we'll do a little sneak peek on what's coming uh, later today. All right. Let's head on down here, and let's talk about this one. Uh, I'm going to go with Ben. I, I do know how to say your last name, though, Vitaliano. <laughs> I had to learn that one. <laughs> Uh, will Plus have an advanced course on Python or Expresso anytime soon? Uh, we, we don't have anything planned right now for that. Um, we are looking into the, the new um, uh, system that's built into the later versions of Cinema 4D that looks like it's um, going to start almost replacing Expresso. So as that stuff develops, we're looking into it, but nothing planned right now uh, there. However, we do have a new piece of training, and it's uh, uh, this is actually a good time to remind you guys we just released, maybe a couple weeks ago, uh, some new training for the uh, Otoy Render Network. So especially if you use Octane, definitely go check that out. It's included in your Plus membership. And it was also to uh, help celebrate the um, promotion we're doing with Otoy, where if you join Grayscale Gorilla Plus in the month of August, so it's almost up if you want to join, uh, now's the time, you get three free months of Octane if you uh, join the, the annual plan of Grayscale Gorilla Plus. And not only do you get three free months of Octane, but you get all of our Octane training and everything else, all the materials, obviously, plugins. And you get access to this course, which will show you how to use the render network. It's crazy fun and super fast. If you ever need to render on a deadline or just want to use your computer while somebody else's computer is rendering, rendering your scene, uh, you have to go check it out. Um, I did also want to remind you guys, uh, we got a lot of Plus members here uh, on these calls. You have access... Even existing Plus members have access to render tokens that you can use on the uh, render network. Um, Otoy hooked you guys up. So even if you're an existing member, many of you have been asking, hey, I'm an existing member. Do I get the three free months of Octane? You don't. It's only the, the three free months are only for new members that buy an annual membership. However, Otoy hooked you guys up and you're getting uh, render tokens. So make sure you hit your dashboard and redeem it soon because the the uh, redemption won't last forever either through Otoy and all that stuff. So make sure if you remember, hit your dashboard and get your uh, free Octane stuff and um, uh, join if you haven't already. Rachel, thank you so much. Gives us an awesome link. Um, if you guys want to check out that promotion, be sure you check it out soon. 
uh, and it ends uh, at the end of August. All right. Sorry, there's a little side side note, but you reminded me of my notes over here where I said, hey, remind him about the O toy stuff. All right, let me scroll back up here, see what uh, other questions we got here. Dun, dun, mm, 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 mm. All right, Sam. Uh, Sam Jacks. I'm going to go Sam Jacks. Oh, on my own, I don't get to, I don't get the little break to drink uh, water while Chad talks. I just got to go ahead and just drink my LaCroix over here. Um, Sam Jack says, I've been a software engineer for three years, doing 3D on the side, looking to transition into the VFX field. How can I transition? You know, <clears throat> um, when I started Grayscale Gorilla, I was um, interested in, in, you know, doing a, another thing on top of what I was already doing. So I was, I was doing... Uh, visual effects and, and uh, 3D and After Effects. I was doing that for a living. And I also wanted to uh, got, kind of figure out this Grayscale Grill thing, go down the path and see what it was like to uh, you know start my own company. And I did it uh, at the same time. So I think a lot of people, when they look at something new, they want to go uh, attack that you know you you think you might have to you know quit what you're doing to go p pursue the new thing full time and just dive right into it. And sometimes that is the right way to do it. But I would say most of the time, if you can, if you have the time to just pursue both. So um, keep that software engineer thing going, especially if that's paying the bills, if that's kind of, you know, your traditional setup right there. And then start uh, learning and being a part of the community, going to the shows as shows open back up, meeting the community, uh, obviously watching, learning. Uh, figuring out the tools for VFX and build your uh, portfolio, build your reel, build your um, build your uh, network while you still have the other thing going on. So there's really no magic to it other than entering in and being a part of it. Do not forget that uh, going to the events, um, going and shaking hands, meeting people that do this for a living is a huge part, at least for my career and many people I've interviewed over the years. Uh, do not forget that side of it. Um, of course, you got to learn the tools. Of course, you got to watch the videos. Of course, you got to put the hours in. But don't forget to also um, break into the, the the network, the the people. People are, are everything. Uh, Mario, what's up? Good to see you. Uh, oh, I just clicked the same one. Thanks for the question, Sam. I'm going to scroll down here. And let's see here. Looking forward to the updates. I appreciate that. Keep that material team busy. <laughs> we are. We got some awesome new stuff coming out. Uh, I've been uh, playing with it for sure. Uh, Rachel, thank you for the link for Octane. I think I mentioned that already. London's here. Um, all right. Kent is telling me that the resolution is okay. Sorry if there was a little low res. I'm at the, uh, a, a new office here. And so this is the first time on this internet. So you guys let me know how it's going to go. Um, all right. Let's see here. Uh, Radium, thanks for uh, helping helping me answer that question as well. Um, what is, let's see, let's see here. What is the best GPU renderer to you? Um, I've been, I've been really digging Octane. Um, I've, I've officially used them all at this point, uh, all three that, that Grayscale Gorilla supports. So um, Arnold, I think was my first one. Uh, and Arnold was great. Also, it was the only one available on the Mac at the time. So I kind of had to go there. Uh, it was really intuitive, easy to learn, and uh, it was you know cross-platform, so that was bonus. Um, uh, that wasn't GPU, obviously. So uh, up next was Redshift. Same thing. I think once you learn one of these uh, 3D or third-party renderers, they all have similar um, workflows. They all have you know they all have their little differences, but the general way that they all work is is somewhat similar. So. Um, uh, and then, of course, I jumped into Octane. Once I got this beast of a machine, uh, I started playing with Octane and I felt, fell in love. And now with the render network and the other things I use in the Otoy kind of, uh, you know, uh, solar system, uh, I've, been, I've been really digging uh, Octane lately. So that's my answer. Uh, everyone's a little bit different. That's why we support the three major uh, renderers here at Grayscale Gorilla. But uh, I've, I've been really loving it. And I've I'm going to have a new Octane tutorial out hopefully in the next couple months. I got a pretty fun one I'm working on. And um, yeah, stay tuned.
Thank you for the question. Let's get to another one. Mario, thanks, man. Uh, NAB, I'm going to try. We're, we're scheduled to go to NAB. I'll say that. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen here uh, with all the, all the uh, COVID stuff and everything happening. We are currently scheduled to go to NAB. And in fact, um, they're having the, um, the uh, motion uh, party there at uh, NAB this year. Uh, maybe Rachel could dig up that link. If you're going to NAB, please register and come to this party. It is one of my favorite nights of the year uh, to see everybody and meet everybody. Please go check it out. We're sponsoring this year, and we're so excited to see you guys, assuming everything uh, is safe to do so. All right. Next question. Felipe is saying, well, he's asking, saying and asking probably, do you think Grace Gorilla will start doing Great plugins again in the future. Absolutely. We got some uh, big news uh, uh, when it comes to plugins uh, coming out really soon. Um, Rachel, thank you for the uh, Eventbrite link there. If you're in Vegas, please go click that link and uh, come come see us at NAB. Um, Felipe, yes, we're going to have some news in the plugin space uh, really, really soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, uh, in fact, yeah, let's do that. I will be uh, showing you a, a, a little sneak peek of a of an updated plugin that we got coming, and we also have uh, some um, some other plugin plans. Let's just say coming in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Um, you uh, will. I wish I could say more right now, but stay tuned. There will be more plugin news coming soon. Um, all right. Good, Sam. Thank you. I appreciate it. Is the podcast coming back? That's a good question. Uh, we've been actually, uh, uh, the team's been editing down these live shows and uh, creating some uh, podcasts out of it for now. So, you know, and this is really the last, you know, few years of the podcast. It really started as a uh, video show where we talk to each other, or answer questions, and then we've edited it down for the podcast. So we understand as people start to get back in their cars and on the subway train and traveling that uh, the podcast is is getting back into people's ears. So uh, definitely check it out. We If you've missed some of these live shows and uh, you've missed the discussion about how to create great lighting and how to think about how to uh, uh, angle and, and set up your cameras in, in Cinema 4D, uh, definitely go back and check out the last few um, uh, podcast episodes team's been doing a really good job editing those down for audio. So yes, check it out. Um, I love this question. I really love this question. Does Octane render faster than the physical render? The, the really short snarky answer is, oh my gosh, yes. The somewhat more uh, um, wordy answer is, it depends on your video card and, and compared to your uh, CPU. So your CPU versus GPU. So, so physical render uses the CPU and Octane render uses GPU. Um, if you have similar specced out CPU and GPU, what I mean, what I mean by similarly specced out is kind of made in the same year. Uh, Octane is going to be uh, lightning fast compared to physical render. Uh, that said, uh, if you have a modern uh, you know, like a, you got the one of these thread, thread rippers or something like that. Uh, physical render is much faster than it used to be. But once you get a taste of these GPU renderers, I would I would just say it's very hard to go back to uh, to physical. So that's maybe I'm missing something else. If anybody else has something to add, I'd love to hear your thoughts. But the the, the quick answer is yes. Um, and if you're not a Plus member, come join for a year, get three free months of, of Octane and give it a spin for yourself. And by the way, guys, you don't only, uh, if you just want to demo uh, any of these renderers, they'll let you demo them for, I forget how long, each of them have a short demo you could download and try it. So if you can uh, demo Octane as well, go do that. Um, all right, let's see here. Yeah, the Octane for Mac stuff is is getting really exciting too. I think, if I, I don't think I'm, mistaken you can download um uh, octane x for free i think that's true for mac and start you know experimenting with it using it um uh right now 
So it's like in the app store, I think. It's it's pretty insane what uh, what they're up to right now with the, the Mac version and the, the Mac compatible version, all that stuff. All right, Joel, yes, we are teasing some stuff. Um, uh, later in this episode, I'm going to show you a little tease for um, what's coming up for in, inside of Grayscale Grill Plus. And uh, we also have some, some news on uh, a new course coming out um, relatively soon. Probably won't be in this launch, but in the next, you know, by the end of the year, we have some, um, uh, actually, probably way before that. Anyway, look, here's what gets dangerous, guys. I get on the live stream. I know what's coming out. I can't tell you guys everything that's coming out. We try to be as honest and open as we can, but when it comes to deadlines, um, it's it's hard to say it until it's out. You know how it is. Uh, but uh, we do have courses coming, and of course, we have a huge new release coming out in the next uh, couple weeks. All right, uh, everything. Yeah, everything renders faster than physical. <laughs> that's just that's just kind of how it is. Look, I avoided animation. Guys, I, I, I shrugged, I crossed my arms and said, I'm not, um, I'm not leaving this Mac ecosystem. Uh, and, I, and I stopped animating in Cinema 4D. I did stills. And it was only because you, I, I didn't have the horsepower to render 90 frames, 120 frames. It would have taken forever using physical. And now... Of course, I could spit out a, 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 a frame in 20 seconds or a minute. That That is just bonkers. It's bonkers. It's bonkers, guys. Um, yeah, if you haven't tried third-party rendering, please go do it right now. Uh, Rachel's got a soft spot for Arnold. I know. That was my, that was my uh, first one I learned. I liked it. It's fun. Thanks, Kamal. I appreciate it. Um, all right. Answer this one here. Since Redshift is owned by Maxon, do you think there will be greater reason to use Redshift for C40 users? I mean, you know, there's there's a couple things going for it. They have the bundle, the the like Maxon One bundle, where you get Cinema and Redshift and some other stuff, um, uh, Red Giant stuff and everything. Um, so that's that's an obvious like win for that. You just kind of like one price, you, you get it all. Um, and then you got to assume there's going to be some sort of tighter integration as we move forward let's just let's that's a guess you know uh if they're, if they're all a part of the same company um however um you know i think it's all really competitive right now uh at least you know the three that we support uh are are pretty competitive so i would just try them all out i don't know the future on what they're going to be up to with uh you know the fact that redshift's owned by maxon but i would just try them all out and uh see which one you like all right. Any experience? <clears throat> Dr. Mackenstein. I like that. From Twitch. I like that the Twitch audience got the questions today. This is great. Um, any experience using M1 Mac Redshift? Any comment on speed? I'm waiting for the M2. Love to stay on the Mac. Um, I should have read the whole question before I clicked on it. I have not tried Redshift on the M1. Um, but if you guys have in the comments, let, uh, let the doctor know. Uh, as we get more news about the next chip, whatever they call it, the M2 and all that. I'm extra interested in that as well. Um, okay, boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Well, look, I just got to click. I just got to put this on the screen. Um, thank you so much for this. Uh, GSG uh, Plus has been absolute key to rendering our products. We use Grayscale Gorilla Materials on a daily basis and our marketing team would not operate this efficiently without the tools you provide. That's great. I love hearing that stuff. That's exactly why we make um, uh, the tools we do to speed up production, help you guys do your best work. I love hearing that. I appreciate that. Um, when and where is NEB? Uh, it's in Vegas, and it's in October. I have a feeling somebody probably answered that below. Rachel put the link there for you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Question, Mac or Windows? This one's uh, a really fun one. I, I am using a hybrid system right now. So I, for anything Cinema 4D, whenever I fire up Cinema 4D, I fired it up on a PC. Uh, and then for almost everything else, I use this Mac that I'm sitting in front of right now. So I, all of this and the live streaming and my desk has a cute little orange iMac sitting here. 
Uh, always wanted an orange computer. Thank you, Apple, for finally making an orange computer. I've always wanted one ever since the original IMAX. Um, anyway, here I am in front of this. And then what I do is I use a, uh, a like a screen sharing service called uh, Parsec and I Parsec into my PC and I use it. In fact, later in this live show, I'm gonna do that demo. Not to show you Parsec, Parsec's pretty cool tech, but to show you all the little sneak peek I have planned for the next uh, stuff that's coming in plus, I will be using exactly what I just said, which is I'll be here and sitting in front of my iMac and then I swipe over and I'm in, I'm like magically in front of my PC, the same, uh, you know, screen, the same Wacom tablet, the same keyboard, and I am using Cinema 4D on my uh, crazy fast uh, Puget system right right away. It is beautiful. I'll show you guys in a bit. Creamy Orange. <laughs> that is true. That is where that name came from. Uh, was trying to make my own orange computer back in, uh, let's call it 2000. Might have been the 90s, but I don't think that's accurate. Um, all right. Let me scroll down here. Thank you guys. Oh, as always, such great questions. I appreciate you. And uh, Joe says, thanks for doing the q and I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Do I use Team Render? I don't use Team Render. Uh, between my new PC, uh, which is screaming fast, um, and the render network, when I really want to render like a thousand frames, like I use the uh, Otoy render network. Between those two things, I I uh, don't need like 20 machines sitting around. Um, so I, I, haven't, I haven't used Team Render in quite a while. Um, let's see here. Awesome. I'm a little behind on questions. We're going to scroll down here. This is a, this is a fun one. Can you make a plugin that create welds between parts or realistic threads? I I I had that thought. I was I was making like a beam structure using some basic MoGraph clones and making like a beam that you would like hang lights from and stuff. I was like, how cool would it be to be like add welds? <laughs> uh, that's a cool idea. That's a cool idea. Um, let's see here. Nice to see you back. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming. Uh, Chad's good. Chad's good. He's hard at work, actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm guessing we have a huge new update coming. And uh, the whole team's been slamming the last, uh, on, on, honestly, the whole summer to get this thing up and ready for you guys. It's going to be a huge update. So he's good. He'll be back in some live shows in the future. Uh, I was explaining at the very beginning, we're, we're, we're going to mix it up here on the live show. Uh, sometimes it's... Uh, me and chat sometimes it's just me sometimes it might be a guest we got some really cool stuff coming up here for the live show uh this season so another good time to uh you know subscribe uh if you're if you're not uh, a member on youtube and you know hit the bell thing dude hit the bell thing that's what they tell me to say to you that's what the youtube people send me spam mail every day they tell them hit the bell like guys really I, you gotta say hit the bell and they're like you gotta say hit the bell uh, all the bell does is it reminds you, especially if we're live, that we're live. It gives it gives YouTube permission to bug you a little bit. Um, all right, let's see here. Bump, 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 bump. Ooh, all right. This is a fun one. Adventure films. When I add a custom button to the palette, how do make how do you make them stay there once Cinema 4D is closed? The answer to that, uh, if you remind me, I'll do it inside of Cinema when we get to the. The, the the like screen sharing portion of this live show. Uh, but you just want to save it as a, I, want, I think they call it a layout. So you want to save your own custom layout. Move your windows, move your palettes, move everything in the scene the way you want it, and then go save it as a, um, uh, I think I said it already, layout. And then not only can you uh, make it a startup layout, which means it's that layout as soon as you open um, Cinema 4D, you can also move it to other machines so that if you are a freelancer or you get a new machine, you can just copy and paste your layout and you're ready to rock. So that is the way to do that. I do that all the time. My layout slowly moves. I mostly just copy Chad's. <laughs> Chad meticulously lays out his uh, 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 Cinema 4D layout and then I'm like, I'm going to go do that. 
Hey, Chad's here. We summoned him. <laughs> Just we said his name and, and awoke the chat. Hi. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for coming by, Chad. Um, all right. Let's see here. Um, bump, bump. Uh, add your buttons and save the layout. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for answering each other's questions. This is nice, too. I love it. Um, all right. This one here, hair materials. Can we get some hair materials from Grace Go Gorilla one day? This one might be tough. Uh, hair, hair works differently depending on uh, what you're using a lot of it a lot of the times. I know ultimately it's always kind of a spline, but it's different. You know, the hair material and physical is different from like uh, X particles, is different from how hair kind of looks all over. We do have some other fun stuff um, that looks, that has the the ability to be a little softer. It's not quite dangly hair, but if you're looking at things like our fabric, uh, grass, um, uh, in particular those two, there's some really nice details on those that give you those little fuzzy things happening. So definitely check those out um, if you haven't seen those materials. All right, let's see here. Don't, don't, don't. If you have a workspace, save the workspace. Thank you guys for ans helping answer. Is there a mobile version of Parsec? That's a great question. I have not tried to go from my phone, although I don't know what I would even do if I maybe just saw my screen through my phone. That'd be kind of cool, but I think it would be really tricky to interact. Maybe an iPad thing. It's got to be an iPad thing. That's my guess, at least. Not sure. Uh, late, but high. Scott, that's okay. Thanks for thanks for coming. It's okay to be a little bit late. I realize I'm about five minutes behind in the in the chat here, so I got to... I got to keep moving. What's the Otoya Renner network? Good question. So um, it is, I'm going to, I might mess up a couple of the, the actual uh, terms here, uh, but uh, think of it as a uh, global uh, render farm that you have access to at any time as an octane artist. And when your machine isn't going to render uh, as fast as you want it to, or let's say you need multiple versions and you know thousands of frames. Or let's just say you want to continue working and not you know heat up your uh, your uh, workspace rendering overnight or something like that. You can use the Otoy Render Network, and specifically their new Render Coins, which Plus members uh, get for free. Don't forget to redeem your Render Coins by the uh, I think the end of the month. Uh, but to, to redeem them. Either way, if you're a, a Grace Go Gorilla Plus member, go get your render tokens because what I'm about to tell you, these work with it. So when you're ready to use this public render farm, think of it as a public render farm that other people join, just like you that have fast machines. They're verified by the network. It's super secure. You upload your project. And now the world is rendering your scene and not just your machine. This means you can get thousands of frames done in minutes rather than hours or, or days in sometimes. It is really fast and it's really affordable and you could try it for free. Uh, if you're a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member, you have free render tokens that are a part of your account that you should go redeem uh, soon because uh, that won't last forever. But Otoy hooked you guys up with some render tokens so that you can try this thing out. Uh, I also mentioned it earlier. I also came out with a, a an entire tutorial series on how to use this thing, how to easily and quickly export your scene file from Octane, put it on the network, hit go, and what it, the specific numbers on my uh, little video tutorial are so bonkers. I always have to share them on my machine, which is a beefy machine. I have two 3090s. It would have taken me 10 hours to render this scene locally. Okay. And instead, I put it on the uh, Otoy Render Network, and it rendered in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. It blew my mind. Uh, I knew it was going to be fast. I've done it in the past, but it was super fast, man. I was, I was blown away. So anyway, that's what the Render Network is. Uh, it's, if you type in R-N-D-R and Otoy or Octane, you'll find more information about it. Uh, but that's a quick kind of start up here. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Yes. What is Otoy Render Network? Yeah. Um, maybe, uh, Rachel, if you could find a link to the direct RNDR Otoy page, that might be helpful for the live show if you guys want to learn more about it. It is bonkers. It is super fun. 
Uh, yes, yes. Um, still scrolling, catching up with some questions here, guys. Um, all right, here's a good one. I only, <laughs> I only read the beginning of it, but hopefully we're okay. Oh, and I'm getting a call from uh, Chicago, so you know I got to make sure the stream's rolling. Everything's looking good. All right, we're good. Spammer. I know it's a spammer. Those jerks. Hold on one second, guys. Let me drink some water. I'll answer more questions. When you're live streaming, you get a call from uh, where a lot of uh, the employees are. It's never good. A little, your heart rate goes up, but I think we're good. I see new questions. I think we're okay. Rachel, thank you for the render link. I appreciate it. Andy, let's get to your question. <clears throat> Andy, watch videos about ACES. Does it really matter? Most of the comment uh, people, most of the content people watch using phone screens. What do you think about color correction and individual perception of color? Um, I, I think it 100% matters. Um, I get what you're saying about like, okay, it's all compressed and it's on a screen at the end of the day or, you know, something like that. Um, but that's not really, to me, what, what ACES does. It's not a, it's not a, uh, it's not a little subtle difference. It is fundamentally, um, using accurate lighting compression that the real world in in the real world a piece of film or a well-designed uh, uh digital camera chip would do versus what a linear workspace would just do in 3d basically if you gave a computer the job of trying to make something beautiful it's going to do okay but the closer we talk about this all the time on these live shows the closer that you can emulate the real world, whether that's lighting, materials, how you set up your camera, you know, you picking the right lens, aiming the lens, uh, aiming your camera at the right way, the way a, a DP would, the way a filmmaker would, all of those little details add up to something that your eye says, wow, that looks real or wow, that looks beautiful. And ACES is just another one of those layers. Um, do you need ACES to make it look great or look real? Obviously not. We've been using without aces and making great stuff for years and years. But it is another layer of detail that once you have it set up, there's no more work you need to do. I save a scene file with the aces workflow ready to go. Uh, I have it all dialed in. I have my compositing workflow with aces. It took me a couple days, honestly, to learn about it and, and start to use it. But now it's I consider it a huge part of my workflow and one that I don't want to go away. In fact, I get scene files. You know, we're working on this new update for Grayscale Gorilla Plus. I'm recording some videos and tutorials and stuff, stuff like that. I've got scene files to help me through some of that, and they didn't have my ACES workflow set up. And so the first thing I did was open up my ACES workflow and try to bring everything over. Uh, to this new scene because I missed it. I missed the feeling of how aces, especially in the highlights, the light falls off on how you can, uh, the, the, the compression or the dynamic range, I, sh I should say, of that detail is so killer. So um, I, I consider it a huge part of my workflow at this point. And, and it, like Rachel said, Chad's saying it too, uh, we, once you, <laughs> and Revo said, it, once you go aces, you, you never go back. Oh, I tried to click on the wrong one. Thank you guys for those questions. Andy, go check it out. I think it's a huge part of it. And, you know, yeah, it takes a minute. And yeah, like, is it going to make it or break a whole render? No. But don't you want to use every tool possible to help you create a beautiful uh, image or render that pulls emotion from your audience, that gets people to stop? scrolling and to look and to pay attention to what you're doing or to make a client say wow or to make your friend say that looks real of course you do so check it out check out aces by the way if you haven't seen our uh free aces uh kind of uh, kickstarter video um kind of getting started with aces go check that out um on on uh here on youtube or if you're not on youtube go to youtube uh, we also have a deep dive into ACES. If you're a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member, search that in training.grayscale gorilla and you'll find that there. Rachel, can you do me a favor and put the um, training.grayscale gorilla link in there whenever you have a second? Well, uh, a lot of people have been asking, you know, exactly some of the training that is and, and what's new and, you know, what's all included in the training at Grayscale Gorilla Plus. 
And something I always forget to say is you can actually go browse it all. Even if you're not a member, you could just go to the site and go look at all of the stuff. Uh, it's over 500 hours of training. You can go search, filter things out and see exactly what's in the library uh, at training.gracegogorilla.com. All right. All right. It finally scrolled to where Chad showed up. I'm way behind. Thank you, Chad, for coming by. Uh, what's aces? All right, we answered that one. Uh, duh, 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 duh. All right. We're getting close. Can you please show something interesting? What are you saying? Look, I mean, I wore the Grayskull Gorilla shirt and everything. I was trying to make it interesting. Uh, I will... We're gonna we're gonna hop into Cinema 40 here in just a bit, and uh, I I think I'll be showing you something I'm really excited about uh, from the upcoming release of Grayscale Gorilla Plus. Um, let me uh, pop through a few more questions here, and then we'll hop into Cinema 40 and do a little screen share, and I'll show you um, the the little parsec setup I got, and also um, a, a little sneak peek of what's coming soon. Thanks for the tutorials. What's the best render for low end PC? Um, I would I would say I would say focus on a GPU renderer and try to try to just get any GPU card um, on a PC is is going to be faster than almost anything at this point. Uh, I would that I think that I know GPU prices are high, but I would think that that's the kind of fastest, most economical way to do it is to get somebody that just got a brand new, fancy, brand new, awesome, expensive card, get their hand-me-down, pay them, might be a couple extra bucks, but start there with a GPU render. I, I still think that would be the best bang for your buck. All right. I need to uh, drink some more, you know, non-stop questions. I love it. All right. <laughs> My wife said she turned on the live show. My my dog ran to the laptop, so that's good to know. I that's that's actually awesome. Um, no, sorry, buddy, not home yet. Daddy's still working. That's right. I'm doggy daddy. That's okay with me. Where to get the tokens, Michelle? Um, it, thank you for the question. If you are a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member, go to your dashboard, and there should be a link there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Rachel, but I think it's on the um, dashboard you'll get uh, uh, a link to go redeem your tokens if you are a uh, existing member or if you subscribe uh, to Grayscale Grill Plus as a monthly member, you get these render tokens I was talking about from Otoy. You can go redeem them and start using this render network uh, using your free tokens. Uh, second, if you are uh, sign up as a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member with an annual pricing model, you uh, get three months free of Octane. That's by the end of August is that promotion. Uh, and, and you go to the same place uh, once you are signed in, you're in your account, you go to your dashboard, you click uh, some redeem link, I think it says, and you go get your three months free of Octane and uh, some tokens as well. So you can start using this. So thanks for that question. All right. Here's a here's a good hey look I asked for Grace Go Gorilla questions it's a Grace Go Gorilla question let's do it Pre says uh, hey Nick how many people do you have working for Grace Go Gorilla also please tell us how many hours of sleep how many hours do you sleep a day number one uh, we have I think eleven full time people here at Grace Go Gorilla we have some uh, you know, part timers and some um, uh, you know, contractors and some other stuff depending on how you add it all up but the core core of us is eleven people. Uh, we're scattered uh, all across the globe. We have, uh, most of us are in Chicago. I'm in uh, Detroit. We have uh, LA. We have uh, New Zealand. And a uh, little bit all over the place. And um, that's the team. That's the team. Go uh, check out our About about Us page, too. We got a nice little uh, page of all, the, all of our smiling faces. Most of us are smiling, I think. Um, anyway, go check that out. Thank you for that question. Now, how many hours of sleep do I get a day? I track my sleep. Uh, I try to track it really accurately. I got an app on my phone called Sleep Something or something. Uh, I think it does a pretty accurate job. I would, I think my average is like a six and a half lately, seven. I'm trying to keep it at an eight, um, but I, I can't go to bed. You know, I don't know. I'm a night owl. I stay up too late, and um, and then I, you know, it's kind of sleeping in a little bit lately. But I don't know. That's that's the answer. I don't have to psychoanalyze it. Seven and seven ish, six and a half, seven hours. 
<laughs> That'll be another time when I go like, why am I not sleeping more? Uh, it's too much going on. 23090s humble brag. Had to do it. If you want to learn more about my machine, go check out the article too. Did an awesome write-up for uh, Chad and I have the same uh, new machine. So please go check that out. If you're looking at a new machine, uh, go check it out. Uh, the render page, awesome, awesome. Cool. Uh, I don't remember exactly what this was. Your Otoy render that took 10 minutes, how many tokens did that cost? This won't, um, this won't calculate exactly to render tokens because I think I actually used credits, which is a different system. Long story short, I think moving my render from 10 minutes to, I'm sorry, from 10 hours on my own machine to 10 minutes in the net, uh, Octane network, I think it costs less than $20. Um, I think that's accurate, but that those, those numbers change all the time. So it's, it's not a super accurate uh, example. So I would actually, if you have those rendered tokens and you're a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member, do the calculation Go do a do a, a a a scene that takes over an hour or so on your own machine. Go do it on the render farm and go price it out. Uh, I've rendered things as uh, inexpensive as you know a few bucks, uh, and I think my most expensive one was like thirty bucks. I'm sure you know if you're doing a ton of frame, five thousand frames or whatever, something like that. Um, you know, it, of course, it scales up with how long your scene is, but. If you have those coins, you could actually go do it. I think you can actually go do it, uh, get to the calculator and run a test. And as long as you know your Octa bench score, Octane bench score, um, you can actually go figure it out now. All right, let's speed through a couple more questions. We're going to hop into Cinema 4D, and I'm going to show you some uh, behind the scenes of what we got working over here at Grayscale Gorilla that will be in your Plus account any time now, anytime. Uh, all right, scrolling through, scrolling through. Have you guys done a course on Arnold Aces? That one I don't know the answer to. Someone might have to chime in and let me know if Arnold Aces, uh, I'm sure we have. I mean, I think that's what you're using, right, Chad? All right. Uh -uh. Let's see here. A couple of last minute questions and then we're going to hop into Cinema 4D. Uh, what software are you using to stream? Thank you. Uh, uh, have an amazing day. We're using a Restream. So everything you're seeing here, we're able to stream in three different platforms. I'm clicking on stuff. I got the chat going. Uh, all of this is through Restream. I think they do a pretty good job. Uh, let me know if the resolution's good, if you can see everything, if everything's nice, sounds good. Um, if so, we have uh, Restream to thank for that. Great service so far. Um, we've been using it for over a year, I think. All right. Do you use a mouse at all or just a Wacom? Uh, just a Wacom, even during live stream. So I don't have a mouse hooked up. Um, for the, since I stopped playing Call of Duty in about 2010, uh, I would say is the last time I like was really playing a lot of that. I have been using the same setup, which is a uh, full-size Apple keyboard with the number pad in front of me right uh, like against the screen and then and then just in front of that closer to me I have a small Wacom tablet got my pen I use that click I've been clicking on uh, you know comments over here and then for mouse type things I have a trackpad I have an Apple trackpad right right there uh, and I scroll around with that and double click and do all those kind of things uh, do the do the max swipey things so that's been my setup for years and years and years. And I'm so used to it, even when I have a laptop and I'm really going to do some serious work, I pull my Wacom tablet out <laughs> at the coffee shop. So no mouse for me. It, uh, By the way, if you guys are having any RSI or any wrist issues, it completely saved my uh, career almost. Like, I don't know what would have happened if I kept using a mouse and kept getting all these, you know, numb fingertips and all that stuff. So please go check that out if you're having issues. Wacom uh, saved it for me. Um, yeah, Rachel, thank you for answering that one. Uh, you can go get your, uh, tokens right in your dashboard. All right. So here's what we're going to do, folks. Uh, I realize, uh, I'm so, so, still behind all these great questions. Um, I'm, <laughs> I love it, Nate. Good to see you, man. Uh, 
let's see here. Dun, dun. Yeah, no time for sleep, huh? It's a lot going on these days. Let me let me tell you what. All right, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to go full screen here. I'm going to swipe over to my uh, my PC, and I'm going to give you a little sneak preview. Let me go check it out here. Looking good. I'm going to give you a little sneak preview of um, uh, what's coming up in in Grayscale Grill Plus. Super excited to, to uh, show you guys. Where's Chad? Uh, Chad should be here uh, either in two weeks or in four weeks. I, I forget the schedule right now, but uh, don't worry. Chad will be back. Um, he's busy working on uh, some awesome new stuff to get to you guys here any minute now. Let's do it. Uh, all right. Let me get rid of the chat. Boom. Click on that. All right. Let me, uh, let me make sure I hide this. And I'll move the logo. Sorry, a little behind the scenes here, guys. It's just me running the stream. Got to get a little lick. Hydrated. Maybe some actual water. That'd be good. Thank you guys for coming. Let's head on into Cinema 40. Let me share my screen. Click it. Share it. Swipe it. Actually, I'm going to stay here for a second um, and just make sure it's there. Oh, I'm going to get rid of my face. There it is. This will be better for everybody. Picture in picture. Zoinks and zoinks. All right. Um, now, I cannot see the chat when I'm doing this, so bear with me. Uh, remind, reminding me to add a note to get some sort of second monitor or maybe a little iPad or something so I could see the chat. But right now I don't. All right, here we are. We're in Cinema 4D. And by the way, that was Parsec. I swiped from my Mac screen here over to my PC. And you can see I am in Windows, friends. If I come down, you get a weird thing where both the uh, Mac thing and the Windows thing pops up. So just to show you, I'm on my PC here. And I'm so excited to show you guys a sneak peek. Uh, and the, the thing that we've been working on so hard over the summer and something we're really excited to show you is a brand new version of Signal. This is one of our most popular plugins, helps you animate, and especially if you create looping animations and want little detailed animation all in your Cinema 4D scene. Uh, Signal obviously helps you do that. Signal's been a huge plugin for us, and our customers love it. A lot of our customers just have, have seen this, where there's a Signal tag in a lot of their uh, scene files here. So what is new in the latest version of Signal 3.0? Well, I cannot show you everything that's new, but I did want to show you a huge new feature that we think is going to unlock some just crazy potential for you animators out there that use Signal and want more control over your looping, more control over your animation. So let me show you brand new inside of Signal 3.0 fields are now supported inside of Signal. So. We got this cute little scene here. We got our uh, our little marble toy here. Uh, and everything on this screen is being animated with a uh, signal tag. So if you haven't used signal, it's just a really easy way to set up animations and not have to jump into the timeline, not have to set up you know super detailed keyframes to get really complex animation. Now, how does Fields uh, do all of this stuff? Well, let me show you this one right here. This field, you can see we have these bouncing balls here in the uh, center of the scene, and none of them are bouncing. Now, let me just move this field over and show you what would have happened without fields. Well, everything would have bounced at the same rate. So each one of these spheres has a signal tag on it that has a really simple bouncing animation, and it's set to uh, basically loop forever. So we're here on a long timeline, and you can see these spheres will sit here and bounce endlessly. Now, this is great, and this is helpful to set up a scene, and you could easily copy and paste this signal tag from sphere to sphere to simply add it to this animation. But what if you want them all to animate in different timings? Well, you would have had to go in separately and add a different seed or use a different offset for each animation to make this a little bit more random. But now with fields, let me start this over and pull this field back. Now with fields, you control when your animations start and stop. 
not only do you control when your animations start and stop, you control how high and how strong they are based on a field. So you can see as I drag this uh, field over, the uh, spheres on the right-hand side are fully animating and the ones on the left are just getting started. And if I swipe them all the way over, we now have varied animation. Let me zoom in just a little bit. We have varied animation here on each one of the spheres. So now you can get little animations like this that would have taken so long to get going. You can now set up an, a simple field and animate and get this little wave of uh, spheres bouncing. So look at that, that beautiful little wave. And in fact, if you wanted that exact animation, you could even add a signal tag to a field and animate it across. And now all of your animation has this beautiful waving. And of course, as you back it off, you can slow it down and uh, all of your animations go back to where they came from um, all by using fields. Now, in this case, it's just we're using a linear field to show you a really simple setup, but any field works. Uh, we've used the box and the sphere and all that stuff. You could combine fields. You could have multiple fields. And we made it super easy inside of a signal to really just, just like a regular um, field workflow, add fields directly to any one of your animations and you get full control over how they trigger and what their behavior is uh, using fields. So here's a similar setup. We have these sliders. And as we move, I wanted to show you each one of these sliders have the uh, same exact animation on it. Sorry, let me grab that field again. And let me zoom in here. Let me back up. If we just played it, same thing. These three sliders have the same animation. And if we wanted to go backwards, we could actually see um, the strength of the field controls the strength of the animation. And of course, if we go all the way back, it's going to go to zero. Now, we could also do the same thing and say, hey, let's uh, maybe we shrink our field a little bit smaller and we use it almost like a trigger. Let's just turn this one on. Okay, now let's turn this one on. And now let's turn this one on. And so now we have different animations. You have full control over your fields uh, and a ton more stuff. Now, um, I don't have time right now and you know, to get into every detail in fields, but we have even different settings inside of the fields that let you trigger uh, in different ways. And it's really, really robust way. You, If you've used Signal uh, in the past and you've used fields in the past, uh, I can imagine that you're putting two and two together and saying like, okay, we could do some pretty crazy stuff. So that's a really simple example and showing you how fields work. But this is just one of many features that are coming in the latest version of Signal that should be out, uh, it, honestly, in the next few weeks, um, maybe sooner. They have, the team has been working really hard to make this happen. So when we first thought about, man, wouldn't Fields and Signal be amazing? Um, we were blown away once it was implemented and we started playing with it, what, you know, what the options really were. And the, the, it really is endless what you could do now now that you have the uh, control of everything in Signal with the power of fields. So real quick demo, um, we have so much more to show you about the latest version of Signal. Um, so much more stuff the team put into this, but I did want to give you guys a little sneak peek of what's coming up really soon. So let me um, hop back over to the chat and uh, see if I can answer any questions uh, about Signal or about fields with Signal. And uh, I, like I said, I can't see the, the screen here. So let me just uh, stop screen sharing. But boom, and we're back. All right, uh, I wish I could do, I wish I could see the chat from inside of Cinema 4D over there. Uh, I could not, so I'm back. Uh, but I did want to come in here and see if um, there is uh, any questions about um, uh, fields and signal. Uh, Bobby said signal was my hope. That's so great. Um, yeah, we, we've been, signal has been an amazing plugin. Um, our customers, uh, obviously love it. And it's one of those that when you start to use it, it's just in every scene file. And so when it came to making a, a big update to, um, uh, to signal, the team really had some amazing ideas and fields is just one of those ideas. So we're really excited to show you the rest of that. Uh, as soon as it's out, we have some awesome new videos and training all about all the new uh, fields or all the new stuff that, that's coming out. Um, 
does it work with every field? Everything I've tried, it it works. Um, so there's only, obviously endless amounts of fields and how they interact and how you can you know uh, use multiple ones. Uh, everything I've been uh, messing with, it just works just like fields. You drag the field inside of your signal tag. You could do it for multiple tags at once. You could even create fields within a signal tag and it's all, all set, ready in your scene, just like anywhere else. And you're off and running. And then of course, if you copy and paste, uh, which I do a lot, copy and paste one signal tag to another object, of course, that object picks up the same animation as the original object. And now you're using fields across many different objects really quickly, really simply. Um, Rachel's uh, used it, obviously. Uh, she's had some awesome demos of it. And so has Chad. We cannot wait to show you guys even more about that. Um, all right. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Mima. That's on me. Guys, we have something really special for those of you who stuck around. Um, not only did we want to give you a, a preview of, of, of one of the features of, of Signal that's coming out, um, but something, uh, honestly, I should have said a little bit early in the chat. We want to give away a free year of Grayscale Gorilla Plus to those of you watching. If you're not a Plus member yet, we wanted to um, uh, do a giveaway here on the stream. So why don't we do this? Uh, we're going to put a link in the chat and it's going to be a really simple form and you could sign up to win a free year of Grayscale Gorilla Plus. Uh, it is only for new members. Uh, so if you're watching now and you're looking at all this stuff, you've been eyeballing Grayscale Gorilla Plus, please go fill it out. We're going to pick a winner on the stream here. Uh, and so um, let's let's get to it. So I'm going to answer a few more questions and, and see if there's any more questions about Signal. And um, and in the meantime, you can also, if you see this link, Rachel will uh, post it up, enter a chance to win a free year plus. Please go sign up and uh, we'll, we'll be picking the winner during this live stream. All right. Let me go see if there's any questions I can answer. Does it work with any field? Yep. Good. Um, Rachel says it's fun. When will Signal 3 be available? Uh, any moment now, honestly, uh, we've been really, really busy. Um, team's been working their butts off to get this thing ready. Uh, and so it's going to be very soon. Um, it's hard for us to pick exact dates, but uh, look for an email and look for some videos on YouTube when, when all this is out. That'll show you all the new stuff and everything very soon. Very, very soon. Uh, fields. Yes, I appreciate that. Good, good. Uh, all right, we got a signal question here with fields. Is there a way to link fields effects to other fields through signal? Is there a way to link field effects to other fields through signal? I'm not exactly sure my exactly what that means. Other link other field effects. What's really nice about fields and signal with fields is whatever you could do in fields, you could do in signal with fields. So if you could combine fields and make creative um, uh, complex, you know, uh, shapes using fields, all that stuff. Um, it all is in there. So you can drag and drop it right into, uh, into signal, or like I said, you could actually, uh, create fields right within signal, uh, there. So I almost showed that to you guys, but there's too many other things in there that we can't show you quite yet, but, uh, uh, stay tuned for that. Um, it, it's, it's pretty much how you expect it to work. Uh, fields, you could drag them right in and they just start working. Um, all right. Oh, snap. <laughs> Thank you for this one. I appreciate it. Bio creative. Uh, we see more and more users every month, every week, join plus and give us comments just like this. If you do uh, uh, 3d work in cinema 4d for a living, you know, we we've created the, the, the largest collection of tools to turbocharge your rendering. Uh, whether it's HDRIs, materials, training, plugins, new updates to plugins, and uh, of course, all the new stuff that's coming out any minute now uh, for Plus members. It's all here to help you guys work faster and uh, just create beautiful stuff. So please go check it out. Um, you can join monthly or yearly. And by the way, two things I wanted to remind you, the Octane Otoy um, promotion ends at the end of August. So if you're uh, looking at using Octane, if, if that's interesting to you, um, go get the uh, promotion 
because if you join for a year, you get three free months free of Octane. And if you join uh, for months uh, using the monthly payment, you get uh, free render tokens with every account. And again, that goes for existing members as well. Don't forget to redeem your render tokens. Uh, and second of all, for those of you looking at Signal and looking at uh, the latest version of Signal, this will be exclusive to Grayscale Gorilla Plus. So uh, even if you've had Signal in the past and you've been looking at Plus and you're like, do you know, what do I do? How do I update? Don't forget, we also have a special offer for you guys inside of your account. So if you've ever been a Grayscale Gorilla Plus customer, or I'm sorry, if you've ever been a Grayscale Gorilla customer and have purchased uh, any uh, you know, plug-in or, or training from us in the past individually, you have a very special uh, offer in your account that you can go get right now and join Plus for a special offer as well. So don't forget, just log into your account and you'll see it on your dashboard page, uh, a, a very special offer to join because if you, let's say you're using Signal uh, right now and you want the latest version of Signal, that's the best way to get it is to make sure you join through your account, get your special offer. And then when Signal 3.0 comes out, you're a Plus member, it's in your hub, you're ready to go and uh, you're, you're animating with fields, my friends. Richard, thank you. Worth every penny. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, right now, until we're done with this live stream, we are collecting... Uh, 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 people who want to join to win a free year of plus. So we're doing a special offer here. We have a, a raffle going on here. Rachel's got the link. Make sure you click on it. Make sure you join. Signal is rad. Thank you for that one. Good. Awesome. How many? Let's see here. Oh, snap. What features? All right. Just scrolling through, trying to find some more uh, questions here. Yeah, by the way, if you haven't checked out the uh, MoGraph training on uh, Grayscale Gorilla Plus, please go check that out. It's still some of my favorite training we've we've ever created. It's so great. Uh, thank you for the, the thumbs up for that one as well. You can affect fields with fields, I believe. I think that's true. So Mario, like... You know, if you put a signal tag on a field, of course that works. You can animate fields with signal. Like if I wanted to animate that that uh, linear field going across and creating that little wave, of course I could do that. And then you can add a field in that field and control the field with another field. If that's what you're talking about, absolutely that would work. That's where it's almost impossible to even guess what people are going to come up with now that Signal has fields built in, because stuff like that, you can multiply and trigger and trigger this using this and the fields trigger, like the triggering system built uh, in Signal using fields is, is can be triggered on top of triggered on top of triggered. So like the amount of craziness that I think we'll start to see when, when this on gets released is kind of endless. All right. Denny, oh, this is good. This is a good one. You come work for the marketing team. Please charge more for Plus. It's too good. That's good. We got to put that one on the site, guys. <laughs> Thanks for the quote. I appreciate it. Um, all right. This is a good question. Uh, talking trendy. Sorry for the stupid question, but what does Grayscale Gorilla Plus contain? It's not a stupid question at all. There's a lot of stuff in there. And um, the, the easy way to say it is everything Grayscale Gorilla uh, is inside of Grace, Grace Code Gorilla Plus. It's the one-stop membership to get everything we've ever created to help you, uh, uh, you know, make better renders. The specifics can be found. Uh, maybe Rachel can help me find a link. It's on the bottom of the website. It's called like, what's exactly in Plus or something like that. It actually details out every uh, HDRI collection, every material collection, every uh, uh, texture surface imperfection, every LUT, Every uh, major piece of training series that we've that we've uh, put out, um, it's a it's an exactly what you're asking for in an entire list. And get ready to scroll because it's a lot of stuff. But it's essentially everything we have here, including training, lighting, plugins. Uh, don't forget the plugins, Nick. Eleven plugins and counting right now, um, all included with one uh, affordable price. If you pay for the year, you can get it for one price uh, for the year, or if you want to pay per month, we have that as well. 
All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Boom, boom. Thank you, Rachel. Appreciate that. Denny, <laughs> Denny, Denny can pay for my plus, and we'll both be happy. <laughs> that, that's that's not that's not a bad idea, you know, Denny. If you want to, if you want to pay, you just pay for somebody else's membership. It's almost like paying for two. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, Joseph, this is a good question. Is the academic plus subscription included in the August Octane promotion? Yeah, uh, as far as I know, that's a yes. So uh, if you if you join the uh, academic, if you go sign up for an academic membership uh, and have a proof of uh, going to school, uh, have like a, I'm blanking on the words, like an ID, student ID, you can go sign up for academic and get... Um, a year of plus, and uh, as far as I know, that also will um, get you the three months free of Octane, get you started right away. What a great idea. If you're a student and you're looking at third-party rendering, you're wanting to get into it, you're looking at Grayscale Gorilla plugins and all the new stuff coming out, uh, that's a great time to grab it because if you join now, you also get the Octane promotion as well. Joseph, great question. Thank you so much. Um, all right, let's uh, keep asking a few more questions, uh, and then we're going to pull the winner for the free year of Grayscale Gorilla Plus. Do not forget to sign up for that one. Rachel has the link for you. And uh, we're going to do a little lightning round if you have any quick questions. I'm going to answer those for you guys, and um, especially any questions about uh, you know Signal, uh, Signal with Fields coming out. And uh, happy to talk about that and also about the um, anything else you guys have on your mind. Mario, perfect. Yeah, thank you, Mario. You answered it perfectly, it sounds like. That's so great. Uh, all right. The site. All right. We got people clicking. We got people signing up. Thank you. I'm just going to click on your thing here, Rachel, so people see it. That's where you want to click. Last chance, enter to win a chance for a free year of Grayscale Gorilla Plus. That is awesome. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, and yeah, don't forget, you know, if you sign up before the end of August, not only do you, uh, and you, and you sign up for a year, not only do you get the three months free of Octane, you get all the new Octane training we just put out, but as soon as all this new stuff releases, it'll be in your account. And if you haven't used, um, the Grayscale Gorilla, um, uh, hub, it's so easy now to install and just install all your plugins, all your material collections, all within one interface. Uh, no separate zip files, none of that anymore. You install one plugin called the Grayscale Gorilla Hub, and you get it all. Made it really easy for you guys. And uh, go check it out. Uh, Evil Null. It's like a like a fun word to say. Like rural Jur. It's like a fun tongue twister there. Any ideas when ship shortage will end? Man, I wish I knew that. I wish I knew that. I'd be buying some options. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, you know, the global chip shortage is affecting everybody, uh, car manufacturers, GPUs, obviously, CPUs. Um, what doesn't have a chip in it these days? So uh, this is this is kind of affecting everything right now. Uh, and, of course, I have no clue when it's all going to end. Uh, you know, COVID doesn't help. Uh, inter boats getting stuck in canals aren't helping. Uh, it's all, it's all uh, uh, hopefully soon. That's all I can say, hopefully soon. Hola, Onur. Good to see you. Hola. All right. Mr. AE4D. I like that little combination. AE4D uh, says, uh, I love the hub. Made my life easier. I appreciate that. Uh, team worked really hard on making that process super easy. And uh, the hub is amazing. Amazing. All right. Here, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> Wish you all great luck. To you as an artist, do you recommend any art tutorials for us? Art tutorials, that's like such an open-ended, you know, question. What's an art tutorial, you know? Um, you know, to, I don't, I wouldn't know how to define that. What, what, here's how I'm going to interpret that question. There's technology, right? Those are the tools. Those are the, you know, if we, if if we, were to, if we were to extend an analogy, if you pardon me a stupid analogy, I know I, I might do a lot of them. There's the paintbrush and the paints 
and the canvas and how you rinse off your brush so that it doesn't contaminate the next color and how long you should wait for it to dry before you paint on top of it or should you make it keep it wet or should you use oil-based paints or should you use you know latex paint or I don't know how paint works um you know that's the the technology okay so those are what buttons to press and what third-party renderer should I use and and what um uh you know what um even app should I use? Do, should I use Blender or should I use Cinema? Should I learn how to sculpt in, uh, you know, here? And all of those are tools, right? So we're surrounded as 3D artists by so many tools. It's really a, a great time to start to become a 3D artist. But what you are, you know, asking is like, you know, what's the, what's the art stuff? How do I make this stuff look good? How do, how do at the end of the day, I combine all of these tools to create something in a, in a square or a rectangle or animating on a screen that somebody gives a damn about, that somebody cares about, that creates an emotion, that um, makes people click, that makes people buy, that makes people stop, that makes people say, wow, that's really awesome, or is that real or not? That is how, how I'm interpreting your question anyway. That's the art of this. And, and that, is, um, that is as important or more important than the tools you choose to, to use. And that's why in addition to the plugins and the materials and the, and the actual tools that are included in, in Grayscale Grail Plus, a lot of it has training to back it up because, or live shows like this, uh, or especially the ones we did last season where we talk about cameras, we talk about lenses, we talk about, uh, choosing the right texture. We talk about lighting your scene. Those are the things that while they use tools, it's really the art of that. Putting a light in the right place is an artistic job. Putting, scaling your texture to the right, just the right size and adding just enough little detail or scratches to it is an artistic event. And those are the things that at first can be really daunting to anybody. It's still daunting to me. And I've been, you know, trying to create beautiful things in a rectangle for years. And it is hard to point at a tutorial and say, this is an art tutorial. But what I will say is um, focus on learning the things that have been used to create beautiful art for years. So what are those things? Color theory, typography, um, uh, filmmaking lighting, uh, detail and shadow, scale, uh, you know, those things will help you create the art that you want to make. And then you surround yourselves with the tools that make that fast and easy and fun. And that, that is, I think, a, a way that you can say that across almost any creative endeavor. I do a lot of music and I learn about harmony uh, and and uh, rhythm and polyrhythms and composition and dynamics in music. And that's all the art stuff, uh, lyrics, right? And then I surround myself with the tools that make this fun and happy and, and gets me engaged with the process. And I think when it comes to learning art, that that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good um, recipe to get yourself in a space surround yourself with great tools and then find the art that connects you to it find how your favorite artist thinks and then and then try to apply that to to your own work and see what see what happens you know it's a lot here that's a big question and that's a big question hopefully there was something uh more focused in there uh but uh hopefully that helps um thank you for the question we'll do a, a few more here and then we'll give away a free year of grayscale grill plus don't forget to sign up don't 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 try Bob. Try Bob Ross. Look, I, I could. Why don't I just say that? All right. Um. Cool. Cool. Scrolling down, finding some more questions. <laughs> make people say that's rad, bro. Look, if you make people say that's rad, bro. What else? What else? You made it. You made it. That's it. 
GSG hub. Yeah, these are great too. By the way, um, I didn't mention these. These are, I've been using the heck out of these. The Grayscale Gorilla Hub color palettes. Um, kind of a secret sauce in a lot of, especially, you know, when picking colors, when talking about color theories, these actually are basically preset beautiful colors that work really well together. And you can just drag and drop them right in your scene. I use these all the time. And included in plus. Learning about art is learning about yourself. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think that's true. I think taste has a lot to do with art, at least how I connect with it, uh, and figuring out your taste and your style, you know, they call it. That's a big part of it. And a lot of it is trying out different things. You'll see people, especially early on in their career, have wildly different styles. You know, they're kind of trying on different clothes almost. And they walked into like every store at the mall and they're like, nah, that's not me. And then they come try on another, go to a completely more preppy store. And they're like, nah, that's not quite me. And then they finally find it. You find your style, right? Um, and, and, you know, artists early on are, are often just going and finding them. Uh, all right. Good. All right. Thank you guys so much for the questions. Let's, um, let's wrap this thing up by giving away a free year of Grayscale Gorilla Plus. Um, Let's do it. Uh, Rachel, it, it, how, we kind of talked about this before, but I think, I think Rachel's going to pick a name and then, uh, you know, she's going to come out here and tell you who won. And, uh, you know, everybody put their email in. So we'll get a hold of you if, if you're not here, but hopefully you're here. Celebrate. Rachel says, drum roll, please. Here we go, everybody. We're about to learn who won the free year of Grace Go Gorilla Plus on our first show back after a summer break. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, email in the form. <laughs> Drum roll, Chuck. Oh, here, he, oh, uh, Joe's, ooh. That's good. Mario, spheres, dude. No, not, not cubes, man. It's all spheres for me. What? <laughs> this is live. Guys, it's live. We got a winner, folks. The winner is Odane Ramirez. Hope I said your name right. Odane, congratulations. Congratulations. You just won a free year of Grayscale Gorilla Plus. Um, Rachel will uh, email you, get a hold of you, and get you all set up. Oh, he's a Redshift fan. Got a Redshift fan here. Thank you guys for helping us out uh, by filling out that form, letting us know your favorite renderer as well. All right, so why don't we end with that? Um, and let me ask you guys uh, maybe one or two questions because I'm always interested in what our customers are up to, what they're using. What is your, out of out of Arnold Red, you know what? No matter what renderer you're using, I want to hear about it. What is your most used render day today? Put it in the comments below. I want to see what your most used renderer is. Um, and... Um, uh, that'll help us out just to get a kind of a sense of where everyone's, where everyone's sitting right now. <laughs> Mario, come on. Awesome. Here it is. There it comes. We got a redshift. We got Arnold. We got Octane, redshift, redshift, Octane, redshift, Octane X and physical. Ooh, ooh, I want to know more about that one. Redshift, redshift, Octane Corona. Got our first one there. Evolves Redshift. We got an Octane again. Physical, <laughs> physical sweaty face. That is okay. Get the demo, man. Give it a give it a go. Um, Adon I. I think that's how I'm saying it. Adon I. Adon I. Hopefully, I said that right. A little closer. Uh, Octane, Octane. Got the Octane people coming. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much. We got a question here. Is there a plan to bring LUTs uh, ready inside the hub? Um, we don't have that right now. So you do have to install the LUTs separately. Um, but a lot of the um, major renderers have their own little way to install LUTs. Uh, I know Octane in particular, uh, they'll let you 
kind of click between them once you point at a folder. So that's what I've been doing, just installing them all in a similar folder structure and just pointing at there. Um, let's see here. Octane, Octane, Redshift. Makes the best fear renders. Thank you. Jeez. Thank you, Mario. Somebody gets it. Finally. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, this has been awesome. Um, so glad the live show's back. Stay tuned for some huge announcements over the next couple weeks. We have some awesome stuff to show you guys. Uh, cannot wait. Um, please, please go check out the Octane um, and Otoy promotion that's happening. That ends uh, at the end of August. So only less than a week away. Uh, so if you've been looking at that or you're looking to join uh, Grace Go Girl Plus, that is a great time to join right now. Get three free months of Octane. And uh, existing members, don't forget to uh, uh, redeem your render tokens. Can you tell them? Check out my notes. Uh, and um, if you're going to be in Vegas during NAB, uh, please go grab a ticket at the, uh, the motion party, and we hope to see you there. Got a ton of awesome uh, sponsors and people coming to the event. And, uh, you know, if everything stays safe uh, and uh, you know, everything's happening, I cannot wait to see you guys in person. It's been, been a long time. I appreciate you. Uh, happy Thursday. Uh, and uh, we will see you guys on YouTube. Look for stuff really soon. I appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. And uh, we'll see you in another video and in another live stream really soon. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Bye-bye, everybody.